greetings everybody and welcome to uh, my latest update and uh, I have to issue a bit of a warning before we go on uh, that this update could seriously damage your wealth if you're not aware of what's going on so many of you will have logged on um, well I noticed it last night actually um, that the way in which you donate duty officers to your fleet has actually been changed and this was a little bit of a, a stealthy update because there was initially no warning of this update from uh, cryptic and uh, yeah it caught me by surprise really now looking at it having read the fine print now uh, as you can see here, it, it appears it's a, a good idea. I, I quite like it. But initially, um, I was warned from my uh, fleet admiral in my fleet to be very careful because if you're donating um, duty officers to projects in your fleet, you could end up donating some very expensive duty officers if you're not aware of what's going on. So, uh, for example, here, this uh, very rare Cardassian duty officer. Uh, if you're not aware of it and you're just updating, it, sorry, you're just donating like I normally do without thinking, I click on the box, donate, away you go. You could end up donating some very rare and expensive duty officers. So, what you need to do is uh, you need to make sure when you're donating to your fleet that you're donating the right quality duty officers or it, you know it could cost you quite a lot of uh, well quite a lot of money in some cases um, now you can protect these and we'll show you how to do that uh, in a few minutes but I just wanted to bring this uh, to your attention now uh, cryptic I've uh, done a bit of a spiel here and just to break it down it's basically saying that um, in the past players have gone to the fleet academy with higher ranking bridge officers breaking them down into lower quality duty officers which you can then donate to fleet projects so if you do actually go to your fleet uh, to donate um, a higher quality duty officer it will break it down accordingly into its composite um, duty officer parts so for example um, with a green duty officer here uh, if you donated that you'd get two common etc 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 at the higher up you go now what they've also done of cryptic they've allowed you to donate dilithium towards your duty officer projects um yeah it's a good idea uh i know why i think it's another way of of trying to take dilithium out of the system because the dilithium inflation on the exchange is is just ridiculous it's it's now upwards and above of 10 billion i believe um and that needs to be brought down um in, or, or increase the ceiling but now i think this is another way of trying to alleviate that problem and and to be honest it's it's not a bad idea all i am um concerned about is that um, i didn't know about it um and at first it, it completely threw me when i went into my fleet to donate some officers and i noticed that there'd been a change and it took me a while to get my head around it but then it was straightforward but i just need to make you aware of it that uh, it is there now i'm going to go to my fleet and i'm going to show you what's what's going on and i'll show you how to protect uh, your bridge officers if you don't want to donate them so here we are at my fleet base um, this is where i was yesterday and i decided to donate some of my uh, duty officers and uh, this is what i was faced with um, now initially when i go to donate duty officers you're only um you only have a list of uh common duty officers which i normally donate um however this time i was faced with quite a lot of very rare duty officers which have you know been quite expensive to obtain and in some cases some of these 
uh, Borg duty officers can be over. Um, well, in some cases, I think I've seen one at a billion EC, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, yeah, needless to say, they can be expensive. So um, normally I would have selected all. I mean, it is giving you the opportunity to click on which ones you, you want. Um, but again, if, if you you know, running on muscle memory, so to speak, and you just decide to just go randomly clicking down these uh, lines of duty officers, you could find yourself seriously out of pocket. Now, as you can see here at the bottom, you can also contribute Delithium to your duty officer projects. Um, so if I do that... Yeah, that should give us. Yeah, again, I've got to make sure because in some cases it wants you to donate uh, duty officers as well. Yeah, yeah, it won't let you when you do that. So that's that's fine. But you see, for some reason it won't let me contribute. So that's really weird. Clearly something's wrong there. I'm going to have to have a quick look at that and figure out what's happening. It could be bugged. Um, but it looks like looking at the other selections that you have the option of dilithium and to also contribute duty officers, which, um, yeah, again, I've misunderstood that because I thought it was either dilithium or duty officers. In this case, it's a combination of both. Um, I mean, if we go back to this one uh, where I could donate all the dilithium it's not giving me the option so that could be bugged or my understanding of it uh, is not clear but anyway I think you're getting the uh, rough idea of what you need to be doing here um, all I'm saying is just be very careful here because this could seriously damage your wealth now uh, you can put the protected status to on. There you go. Just right click on it. And you can protect these duty officers from accidentally being contributed to your fleet project. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Uh, again, this is going to be... Oops, have I, I've turned that off, haven't I? There we go. Again, this is going to be a right exercise, isn't it? Because you're going to have to go through everything and make sure that they're all selected to be protected the ones that you don't want to, to be contributed now just one other thing i'd like to bring to your attention uh, some people do go to um, the academy to break down uh, very rare duty officers to their lower common equivalents uh, now yeah you can do that uh, it's a bit of a grind if you want to do quite a lot um but in my particular case what i like to do is i like to come to my fleet uh, base i come down here to see this gentleman here commission duty officers and i select uh, a pack of common duty officers now it does cost you 500 uh, fleet credits to do this um, but for me I, I don't mind i have enough fleet credits to do it so if you've got enough fleet credits I'm, I'm spending 25,000 fleet credits and I'm going to acquire 50 of these common duty officers which appear in your inventory. And as you can see, here are the uh, duty officers which I've just purchased. And what I normally do is I normally pick up, I normally do 10 at a time because you've got to be really careful here. Go into my fleet projects. Uh, let's have a quick look and this is this is where the problem starts because you're gonna have to be careful uh, which ones do you donate uh, yeah we'll donate that one I think it's that one that one that one that one so we'll just donate them five for now those common ones and we'll contribute them so please be careful when you're donating to your fleet um, and uh, if you have any questions please drop me a line below and i'll see if i can uh, uh, answer them for you so for now 
I hope you uh, find this update useful. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to catch further uh, reviews and further updates as and when we get them. So for now, this is just a signing off. Citizen, what is your name? My name is James Tiberius Kirk. Enterprise, this is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Farragut, offering assistance. My name is James Tiberius Kirk of the United Federation of Planets. This is Captain James Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Begin 30-second countdown.